Welcome back to the Moss Big Bass. I bet you guys are wondering why you're staring at a glass of water. Well, once again, I'm a, I found some interesting baits on Amazon and Walmart, and I thought I'd bring them to you. Because, I mean, I'm always trying to help you guys save some money, show you some real good deals, actually. Um, first thing I want to show you that I found on Amazon are these THK fish. Um, they have these in different things. But I like using the Z-Man uh, TR, TRD hogs. Um, and that's basically what these are. And I wasn't sure about them. This is like, color like the deal. And this one here is like hot snakes. Actually not hot snakes, but it's more like a, like a green pumpkin chartreuse. Let me set this one to the side. Um, I wasn't sure when I first got these what they were made like or anything of that nature. So when I got them, you get a big pack like this for $7. Um, and they're made out of elastic. I was astonished when I seen they're made out of elastic. Okay, so, and then let's see how they do here. They just float on the surface. They don't do like the, the TRD. The TRD goes tail down. It kind of sits like that, but these are here just like the regular hogs and they float as soon as you put them in. Another thing I found on Amazon is the Mad Bite 24 piece Ned Rig Jig. Um, for 24, you get, um, I think these go 1 one sixteenth up to 1 eighth. Let me just make sure of that, see if there's any, any bigger than the other one, I'm not sure. Actually, these all look to be 1 16th. Huh. Okay. So I guess you get all one sixteenth ounce heads. They're stapled together. Um, I like to. This is my first time looking at these, so I've used these. I know these hogs work pretty good. Let me take a look at this hook. Okay, hook feels pretty strong. Actually feels a little bit stronger than the Z-Man hook. It's really sharp. Okay, let's see how it does with the bait. I always do is I lay it out here and see where it's gonna come out. See, it's got the wire keeper on it. So we know it's gonna come out right there. So we're gonna put it into the middle. We're gonna come down. and come out right there. I like to try to make sure I come out between the flaps so you can see that right there. He's gonna grab this and, whoops, starting to fall off here. <laughs> Sorry. Grab it, pull it up on that bar, that keeper. I didn't get it exactly straight. And guys, like I've told you before, when you're working with Elastec, if you don't get it exactly straight, Pull it back out, start again. All right, so there we go. Hmm. Still didn't get exactly straight. Let's, let's just take it all the way off. Right, so let's try again. Kind of missing where I'm supposed to come out at, right there. Okay. All right, let's go in again. This time, try to make sure we're coming down the right area. That's a lot better. Okay, so now we pull it up on the bar, the keeper. And there's your finished little hogs. Now let's see how it floats. So you can see that right there. It goes in the upright position. And that's on the 1 16th ounce head. This is actually, this, this size weight, 1 16th ounce, is probably about my favorite for fishing any of the TRD products. 
A lot of people like to fish like three sixteenths and a quarter. But I find that if you give it time to let it go down, you can actually swim this head easier. Um, it also, just that slower fall in general, just seems to catch you more fish. So you can get another look at the package here. These little jig heads seem to be really good and they're pretty sharp. This baits, the hogs are a little bit longer than the TRD. They're like three and a half inches. And the TRD is three inches. So like the TRD kind of goes like here to like here. So that's why it's kind of, the hook, this hook actually be really good in the TRD. Um, all right, let's, I'm gonna set this here to dry. You never wanna put a wet hook back in a dry hook pack. Cause what you're gonna do is you're gonna make rust. All right, next thing I want to show you, let me get this out of the way, is I was walking through Walmart and this caught my eye. A couple of things. If you know me, you know I love the Ned Rig. It looks like David Dully Perfection Lures, and Perfection Rods, uh, they came out with a three, a three and a quarter inch Ned Worm. Um, this color is called Green Pumpkin Violet and all the heads are an eighth ounce. Uh, it looks like it has three heads with it. It's like six baits all together. So let's see, it says, you have three heads, six baits. So you can take a look at the, what it looks like here. And of course it has a scan me thing. I did not scan it, so I don't really know what that's about. So I always like to bring this kind of stuff home and test it out in my own Ready? All right, so I'm pretty sure this is not elastic. We're gonna give it a little tug on it just to make sure. Um, like I said, I didn't know the other one was elastic. So you have, I, one thing that really caught my eyes, I like the design of this bait. I like how wide and flat it is. Yeah, this is not elastic, not stretchy at all. You know, I like that little thin bulbous tail. So now let's, Doesn't really seem to have any kind of scent to it either. It has some salt in it, I can feel it by rubbing it. Let's see how it does in the float tips. So it is a floating bait, there you go. So they must use a really soft plastic with this. All right, now let's take a look at the heads themselves. This one's not rigged perfect, it's just kind of rigged to the side. Hook feels decently sharp, just I'm just gonna tear this one up probably a little bit. Let's kind of see what kind of barb it has on it. Let's see if I can feel it. Okay, so yeah, it has, well, I don't like to speculate, so let's just pull it down and see. So it has a wire barb, just like the other, the, the Mad Cat we just looked at. All right, and so let's see what it looks like when we drop the whole system in the water. Okay, so it does float that head straight up. Hmm. So you can take a little closer look at that maybe. So you can see it down in the water. That's pretty cool. You can tell it hooks off a little bit, but it don't really matter. So, I can guarantee you that's gonna catch some fish. Just looks at that and how it sits in the water. That is gonna definitely, definitely catch some fish. So let's let this sit here and dry. Give it a pat. I never put anything wet back in the pack. I have learned my lesson about that. Especially when you're doing like traditional soft plastics. Even elastic, if you put it back wet, it'll balloon up on you. Regular soft plastics really do it very badly. I mean, you've all been there. You get your, your tackle bag a little wet. And then you think, you, you put it up and don't think about it. And you had a hard day. Um, or you're in the boat and it's raining like hell. And 
rain gets inside your compartments and then next thing you know you open your uh one of your one of your bags of lures up or your one of your containers of lures up and everything in the inside it has blowed up doesn't even have the right shape anymore all right now next thing i want to show you is david dudley came out with another thing ah, sorry guys i keep trying to wrap this thing over it's a uh, Perfection Lures, David Dudley approved. Um, Pre-rigged Wacky, Dudley approved. So this, this worm very much looks, it doesn't look like this here. As you can see, it, let's see it's got two bulbous ends on the side of it. It looks like a Havoc lure, like a Havoc baton. So it looks like they copied it from Havoc Baton. It has a basically a straight shank Nico hook in it. But this only comes with one, one hook. This comes with one hook and it has, it says one, let me get see, see here, six five and a half inch wacky worms, six O-rings, O-rings already put on them. Uh, one two out size wacky hook, color green pumpkin violet. Let's see if I can get that to focus better. There you go. Most of the bass caught in my career have been on this lure. I doubt that. Maybe on a wacky worm, but you just came out with this, so they can't be. You've been doing this over 20 years, David. Four times angler of the year, FLW Cup champion, nine first place finishes. You used to always say David Dudley was basically the KVD of FLW, but now there isn't really an FLW. Um, so yeah, there you go. Um, but all right, so there's that. Um, and I also want to show you really quick, going back to the video I did the other day about Uh, this cadence reel. Sorry about that. Sitting here trying to do some stuff. Let's see if I can get this to zoom in better. Up, oh, knocking things off. There's a that cadence reel filled with line. That's that same suffix line you see me in the scissors video. Uh, this is my Dobbins champion. Um, that blue matches up great with that blue in that reel. I mean, it's just an awesome package. This is um, a seven foot three medium light. This is what I use for my net heads. Um, the only rod companies I use anymore seems like are, well, I have several different rods, but I use Dobbins and I use iRod. Um, just two of the companies I found that does me right. Um, if you wanna see real quick, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I do with this real quick. I know some people have asked me what knot I tie on my net heads. Um, I never, ever, ever use a polymer knot when I'm doing fluorocarbon to anything. I don't even use it on my drop shots anymore just because it just seems like they give me problems. So let's just go ahead and since I got this one here sitting here, what I do is I call, it's a call a double uh, pinks knot or some people call it a San Diego jam, uh, double San Diego jam. I run my line through the eye. Then I run my line back through the eye. I'm gonna do this kind of slow so you can kind of see what it looks like doing it. Then I grab this over here. Let me throw my tag in this here. There's my tag in. Here's my doubled line. I'm gonna bring this doubled line. And I use the same knot on crankbaits. Um, use the same knot on any kind of jig that I'm throwing fluorocarbon with. Only thing I use a polymer knot with is braid. I don't even use it on mono anymore. Cause I've had too many issues with burning my line. Of course, I'm trying to do this on video. It's not one to do right for me. Now it's dropped it off. That's great. Give me one more second, guys. I'm 
It'd probably help if I put my glasses on, but just trying to do this real quick to show you what I'm doing. I need a little more tag in than that. Let's... All right. So I'm going to grab this. We're going to go over three times. One. Two. Three. Okay. We're going to run your tag in back through your loop here. You're going to pull it together. I like to wet it a little bit. And then pull it down nice and tight. And that makes a super strong knot. It ain't going anywhere. And you're going to take and cut your tag in. And there you go. There's the knot that I use. See, give it a nice, really strong pull. <clears throat> Not going nowhere. This is eight pound test. Um, all right, guys, if you have any questions, ask them down below. I'm gonna link these products for you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get on uh, Walmart's webpage and see if I can find these and link them for you as well. And I'll link the the uh, TK fish and the Mad Cats, uh, a THK fish, I'm sorry, and the Mad Cats from Amazon down below as well. Um, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. It ain't gonna cost you anything, it's free to do. Um, you know, somebody's getting into fishing, interested about net heads and things and different things you can do. I'm like, I'm always trying to save money. And these, and I think a THK Fish makes a, a, a Ned, a TRD, just like this. Um, and the same kind of colors. Um, so, um, like I said, I'm always trying to save money. And like the, the TRD hogs, they come like five pack for like four. And this is like 20 uh, let me make sure how I many it is. Yeah, 20. 20 uh, of these for seven. So, I mean, it's a lot better deal. It seems to do the exact same thing. I mean, I've used them before. I've caught fish with them. So, I know they work. Um, anyway, like I said, guys, if you, like, if you know somebody wants to be interested in saving money on net heads and stuff, sh uh, share this video with them. All right, guys, I'm going to sign out. Sorry if I sound a little bit loopy. I had a procedure done yesterday. I'm on pain meds, so <laughs> it is that. Um, you guys have a great day in tight lines.